Most of us pay our taxes. We have to. But many multinational corporations and criminals don't, or not enough. It's been estimated that every year one trillion euros are lost to tax fraud and tax avoidance. That's about 2,000 euros for every EU citizen. That means it is uh, the same amount what are all our collective public deficits together or what we spend in the health care in whole EU. Or it's six times the EU budget. Think about what we could do with that in terms of beating the recession, in terms of particularly youth unemployment, supporting young people back into jobs. It's a scandal. It's a scandal of lost resources and we have to get the money back. EU lawmakers want to rein in tax evasion and avoidance schemes. But tax avoidance schemes are within the law and politically change hasn't been easy. Luxembourg has a huge banking sector and is opposed to information sharing until Monaco and Switzerland, for instance, do the same. The rules which are implemented must be implemented in the same way at the same time in every country. And this is the only reason why Luxembourg is saying we don't want to widen the scope of the EU savings directive before we does not know what other countries are willing to do. A suggested crackdown on tax evasion and tax avoidance has dominated talk at a summit meeting in Brussels. Although many feel that any solution must be global, the EU cannot do it alone. But it can make life more difficult for big companies that don't pay their share. The computer giant Apple paid just 2% tax on its overseas earnings by exploiting a loophole in Ireland's tax laws. And there are many similar examples. Measures like excluding tax-dodging companies from public contracts and state aids may help, but it won't cure the problem. À partir de quand l'humanité sera-t-elle parfaite Elle ne sera jamais parfaite. Ce qu'on peut faire, c'est réduire les marges d'erreur, c'est réduire les possibilités de fraude. Mais ne nous faisons pas d'illusions. Le problème, même s'il sera diminué, subsistera d'une certaine manière.